guys welcome back to unlimited codes this video will cover matrix and array arithmetic operations and how to solve linear equations basically there are two different types of arithmetic operations in MATLAB one is matrix arithmetic operations and next one is array arithmetic operations So, what is matrix arithmetic operations? First, I will show how matrix arithmetic operations to be carried out. Let's do an example for matrix arithmetic operations. We will create two matrices. So, how to create the matrices? I already taken that class in previous video. So, you check that. Then so we will create two matrices matrix A and B with the same size. So I am creating A is equal to any numbers you can give. So this is the matrix A. Then matrix B in the same way okay I created matrix A and B with same size that is 3 by 3 matrices then I will do some arithmetic operations such as a plus b so the result you can see that a plus b is 2 plus 1 is 3 7 plus 3 is 10 9 plus 2 is 11 likewise the addition is happening then we will do subtraction a minus B okay so the subtraction also done that is 2 minus 1 is 1 7 minus 3 is 4 likewise so now you will do multiplication so a multiplied by B you can see that here 2 into 1 we can uh, we know that it's 1 so it's 2 but here it is 173 that is here in matrix multiplication the multiplication is not element by element happening but whole matrices are multiplied based on some rules that we studied in our class and the basic rule in matrix multiplication is the matrix a's number of column should be equal to the matrix B's number of rows. So that is the main rule. Next arithmetic operation is exponentiation. So A square we are doing. So this is the operator for the exponentiation. So A square which is nothing but a multiplied by a we will do b square or b raised to 3 b cube so it is nothing but b into b into b what is array arithmetic operations here element by element operations are done how we can identify the difference between matrix and array operations in array arithmetic operations period character is used in addition with arithmetic operators but in the case of addition and subtraction no need of this period character we will do example for this array arithmetic operation we gonna take the previous matrices a and b for the operations 
so layer is A and I have B also so as I already said in the case of addition and subtraction no difference between matrix and array arithmetic operation so that is the same uh, we done before so we will do multiplication division and exponentiation so first one is multiplication and we have to put this period operator first and then this multiplication symbol and then B so we can see that 2 multiplied 1 is 2 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 next one is division A period operator then divided by B as you can see this also element by element operation then we will do exponentiation so a period operator and square okay so it's nothing but a into a that is 2 square is 4 7 square is 49 9 square is 81 likewise next section is linear equations we can solve linear equations using MATLAB. Linear equation can be represented with equation A multiplied by X is equal to B and X is equal to A inverse B where A is the coefficient matrix, B is constant vector and X is the variable vector. We have to find the solution by solving this x. So the equation can be, we can rewrite the equation that is x is equal to a inverse b where a inverse is the inverse of a. This is an example of linear equation. We will solve this equation using MATLAB. So as to solve that linear equation, we have to create that coefficient matrix from that equations, which is nothing but we have to write the coefficients of x, y and z as a matrix. So the A matrix would be A is equal to 1, 2, 3. So the next row is 4, 5, 6, then semicolon, then 7, 8, and 0. This is the coefficient matrix. And B is the constant vector. That is that uh, we seen that x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1 and that one is the constant so b is nothing but it's a column vector okay then we have the equation x is equal to a inverse b in matlab to find a inverse there is a command inv inv of a so we can find x is equal to inverse of a multiplied by b it's calculating okay so the values of a is minus 1 1 and 0 there is another operation in matrix that is to determine the determinant of a so in matlab there is a command called dit d e t we can find determinant of a using this command 
so this is the determinant of a